Hello, in this video I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've been doing with Logstash and Gephi to visualize Apache log files. If you uh, haven't seen my blog, uh, head on over to data.andybergen.co.uk uh, which has some detailed instructions on setting up uh, Logstash to read Apache logs um, using various filters to tokenize them and store them inside Elasticsearch um, that can then be visualized by a tool such as Kibana. What I wanted to do with um, this video is show you a tool I've written which will take the data out of Logstash that's stored for Apache log files and visualize it inside Gephi. Uh, Gephi is a network um, visualization tool. Um, it uses node and edge graphs to show data and the relationships between them. I highly recommend that you check out the Coursera course for social network analysis, which the University of Michigan ran uh, with Ladder Adamic as the tutor there. Uh, really good course. Failing that, certainly check out Sebastian Heyman's videos. Um, he's one of the original developers of Gephi, and there's some really good information on YouTube. So let's have a look at what I've done. Um, I've written a Python tool which talks to uh, Logstash and extracts out a GEFX file, which is one of the uh, network um, files that Gephi can read. If we open this one up, um, the tool I will be releasing onto my GitHub account uh, shortly, and there'll also be a blog post page uh, on the blog for you to have a look at. Uh, the uh, data which we're using here is an extract of a log file, the IP address has been obfuscated but other than that it's real data. Um, there's 22,500 nodes, 18,000 edges. If we open that up we end up with a lovely mass of grey blobs. When you look at the data in the laboratory view in Gephi you get it a bit like an Excel spreadsheet. You can see um, rows and columns of data which will appear shortly. Uh, if I show you the original messages, this should look like uh, an usual Apache log file entry, which you would see. That's then taken and tokenized out into various things like the client IP, the referrer, the request, the response code, etc. etc. Each of those entries is also date stamped to when the request happened, um, and that can stay alive for five seconds. The edges refer each of those log entries with uh, effectively its neighbor so if it's from the same IP address and within five seconds it considers it an edge so that's the relationship between the two nodes so what you get is you get um, a series of related nodes with edges between them for each page view for each hit that makes that up so the original source file page then all the graphics and the CSS and then JavaScript and any supporting files that go with it and that'll effectively appear as a chain in the visualization so let's have a look a um, couple of housekeeping things before we get going. Um, these are the 22,000 entries. Um, let's first of all split them up by the IP address. Um, obviously this isn't completely pure because you might have multiple visitors coming from the same IP address behind the firewall etc. But if I apply that you'll see it gives us a fairly granular um, generalization of the different visitors. If I look for ranking, I'll just make these um, the, the size change based on the number of bytes in the response. Um, I'll size these nodes between 15 and 50. So if I do that, we should get some bigger nodes, some smaller nodes on that. Apply those. Uh, I'm going to turn the background to black because I just think it looks nicer. Now, because we've got date stamps for each of these nodes, we can enable the timeline view in Gephi, which means it knows that we started around midnight and ran through till about half seven in the morning, uh, and that's all the data. But what I could do is shrink this right down to, let's say, a 10 15 minute window, and it shows us just the information relevant in that window. And now I can move this around and get different. lots of data within that time window which is very nice <laughs> um, but it doesn't really show us the relationship between them if I start at around ooh, I don't know one in the morning there's not a lot going on Gephi gives us a facility to arrange this data called a layout based on the relationship between the nodes and the edges um, I can use Force Atlas 2 so if I just run will show us, will arrange the data in a nice way. Um, let's move to slightly on a bit further where there's a bit more data 
there we go so we've got some chains of data there if I just stop the layout you'll see there's a little row of requests forming here if I zoom in on this and I turn on the label display you'll be able to see if I zoom in that this shows the steps they've ordered the hits they effectively the user took to get through the site so there what we're looking for there effectively the little user visits the user sessions as well as viewing this individually so chunk by chunk I can also animate it so let's just tweak these settings only for a reasonable step size and now if I hit the play button down here it'll run through the data that's available but of course that's pretty much what we've just seen now let's turn on the layout at the same time and it starts to make sense we can start seeing the little chains of visitors over time the different colors being effectively the IP addresses so you can say all the pink visitors are from one user or the yellow from another the orange from another user these cyan ones from another user and it really gives us the sort of little user journeys if I just stop that there we can see all these little chains are probably page views by this user and what we could do if we zoom into it turn the labels on as we did before we can start to see each of the requests in this case it's getting a little hard to see so what I can also do is right click and go select in the data laboratory go back to the data laboratory there and I can actually see the entry there and from that I can look at the IP address uh, and the request and you know the original message from here um, start working out so there's one there's another there's another there's another from the IP address and start seeing a pattern there I'll just let this play through a little so you can so if we turn that playback as we move through and you can see the different sets of data appear in there. Obviously it can get quite busy. Geffy does stammer and stutter a little bit but that's okay. If I just stop both of these and whisk forward to towards the end of the day, so from about seven o'clock on is where it gets very busy, you'll see it starts to struggle. So what we might have to do to make some sense of something like this situation here uh, is actually stop both and use something called another layout if we use the uh, even who multi-level that effectively does what we want it works out all the different strands for us and we start to see them there we can make them a little less jaggedy by using a force atlas layout after that um, but that's going to run through and sort of spread things out what we could do also if you want a nice cut out and keep we can go to the preview tab and we can uh, get out a nice PNG of this image in high res so let's save that one and I'll put it on the blog for us to look at So like I say, uh, the Python tool will be appearing on the blog shortly uh, and I uh, hope you found this interesting and I hope you uh, can use it to uh, get even more information out and visualise log data. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.